Dr. Lin, another poop video? It's a hard life being known as the poop doc. So many of you have enjoyed all the bowel relieving, constipation releasing videos. So why not add another one to the list with a little twist? We have another solid one coming up. But first, please spend a few seconds to like our video, subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider hitting the thanks button and donating. Also, our team has worked hard to bring some fun and inspiring merch. You can check those out below. So let's talk about the nuts and bolts of this bowel releasing exercise. If all the other poop videos failed you, this one is likely the biggest and baddest of them all because you will be trying to squeeze it out like a go-gurt, or we can call it a goo-gurt. Let's get a few things straight. This is the orientation of the bowel. It goes in a clockwise motion. And in a perfect form, it goes with an exercise called the pelvic clock, which we will be teaching you next. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the body disc, and we're gonna throw that on the little more narrow side right at the bottom of my sacrum, which is like right here which is the flat part of your pelvis. Uh, what we wanna think about is we're going in that clockwise manner. 12, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to speed this up. Now there's areas that are gonna be restricted when you touch parts of your bowel, the, the digestive system. So we're gonna start with a diamond. We're gonna start here at the belly button. Then we're gonna move up towards this sphincter here. Then we're gonna move towards the cecal valve. We're gonna to move towards the sigmoid valve and then the colorectal right here. And we're gonna do this clock pattern on this body disc. Like I said, you don't have to have one at home. I just like more motion and the bigger the motion, I think the, the better the squeeze. So right here, we'll start at the belly button and I'm just gonna go 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, once I hit seven, I'm feeling tension right here. So this is great because you're now finding real time tension wherever it is, things that may, may be bottled up or caught up. You wanna be able to just release that. And so now back to six, seven's easier now. Seven, eight, eight's tight. So I'm just gonna go from middle to eight, middle to eight and you just want that nice motion. The bigger the motion, the better the health. So there we go. Now, 9, 10, 11, 12, no problem. We're just kind of creating that. So now I'm gonna go to the top sphincter once again. So 12, one, actually one feels tight for me. I'm just gonna work here, one. And like I said, having this disc so helpful in moving, especially those of you who do have like the constipation problems, the blocked issues. Uh, even people with uh, long COVID symptoms have been having a lot of digestive issues. So. Now that's freeing up. So it's 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven again for me, really tight. So now as I'm doing this, I'm feeling a warming sensation. Blood flow, circulation is all going. That's great. I'm moving that seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm good, I moved to the next right here. Put light pressure, like I said, if, I, if I'm showing you guys uh, it's not a lot of pressure. It's just like, I'm just kind of firm, but I'm not pushing. It's probably like that much pressure I'm putting on my valves. So let's go 12, one, one also. So it's interesting, one and seven seem to be really tight. One, and you might feel that sometimes the restricted bowels give you back aches, back pain, stiffness, and that generally gets better because Guess what? This is the front of your back. So one gets better, two, three, four, five, six, and no surprise, everybody, seven o'clock this direction. I'm just lightly moving it, and I'm actually right now, I'm starting to feel a little gurgling. That's good. Like I said, this is the biggest, baddest exercise out there that we have created here at Rehab and Revive to make things just flow better. All right, so. There we go, pun intended. All right, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And if these clocks are really tough for some of you who don't necessarily have the uh, body awareness, you could do these circles. You could just, you can move your pelvis on a disc or 
You can do that as well as an alternative, but I like just getting directly to the point. So, so then now we're gonna go over this side. This is the sigmoid. So once again, 12, one, that's fine. Two, two feels a little tougher for me on this, this with me pinning this down a little bit. So I'm gonna work in, out of it, in, out of it, in, out of it, three, it finally loosened up, three, four, five, six, seven, it's okay, seven's okay. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then colorectal, it's kind of around where your bladder is, just you kind of have to kind of go down and in a little bit, like it's like about a center meter or two below. We're just gonna go hit that here. I'm just gonna kind of, my hand's kind of this plane and I kind of just tip it up a little bit. So once again, 12, one, two, two's tight. And so this is when things go out. This is gonna help the flow there. So two, just loosen up, three, four, five, six, seven, seven also. And we'll work that in and out. Pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. And that just released. And my back actually just released at the same time too. I've been having a little bit of back pain. So uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 11, 12. There we go. And so that's the series of this exercise. It'll go a lot faster. Obviously I'm just making an explanation, but once you find these restrictions, you start here the diamond uh, pattern, diamond method. One, two, three, four, five in this sequence. Always so start one, two, three, four, five. It's making this whole thing helps your intestines move across those channels, those blocks, those kinks, obstructions sometimes, you know, bef before it's like a surgical problem. You can really just keep these nice and healthy prophylactically, even if you don't have any bowel issues. Did things loosen up and something magical happen? Let us know your thoughts on our video. Leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.